London Trams, previously Tramlink and Croydon Tramlink, is a light rail tram system serving Croydon and surrounding areas in South London, England. It began operation in 2000, the first tram system in London since 1952. It is owned by London Trams, part of Transport for London, and has been operated by First Group since 2017. Tramlink is one of two light rail networks in Greater London, the other being the Docklands Light Railway. The network consists of 39 stops along 28 kilometres of track, on a mixture of street track shared with other traffic, dedicated track in public roads, and off-street track consisting of new rights-of-way. Former railway lines, and one right-of-way where the Tramlink track runs parallel to a third rail electrified network rail line. The network's lines coincide in central Croydon, with eastern termini at Beckenham Junction, Elmer's End, and New Addington, and a western terminus at Wimbledon, where there is an interchange for London Underground. Tramlink is the fourth busiest light rail network in the UK behind the Docklands Light Railway, Manchester Metrolink and Tyne and Ware Metro. In the first half of the 20th century, Croydon had many tramlines. The first to close was the Addiscombe, East Croydon Station route through George Street to Cherry Orchard Road in 1927 and the last was the Purley, Embankment and Croydon, Thornton Heath routes closed April 1951. However, in the spring of 1950, the Highways Committee were presented by the Mayor with the concept of running trams between East Croydon Station and the new estate being constructed at New Addington. This was based on the fact that the Feltham cars used in Croydon were going to Leeds to serve their new estates on reserve tracks. In 1962, a private study with assistance from BR engineers, showed how easy it was to convert the West Croydon, Wimbledon train service to tram operation and successfully prevent conflict between trams and trains. These two concepts became joined in joint LRTL-TLRS concept of New Addington to Wimbledon every 15 minutes via East and West Croydon and Mitcham plus New Addington to Tattenham Corner every 15 minutes via East and West Croydon, Sutton, and Epsom Downs. A branch into Forestdale to give an overlap service from Sutton was also included. During the 1970s, several BR directors and up-and-coming managers were aware of the advantages. Chris Green, Upon becoming managing director, Network Southeast, published his plans in 1987 expanding the concept to take in the Tattenham Corner and Caterham branches and provide a service from Croydon to Lewisham via Addiscombe and Hayes. Working with Tony Ridley, then managing director, London Transport, the scheme was brought out into the open with Scott McIntosh being appointed light rail manager in 1989. The scheme was accepted in principle in February 1990 by Croydon Council who worked with what was then London Regional Transport to propose Tramlink to Parliament. The Croydon Tramlink Act 1994 resulted, which gave LRT the power to build and run Tramlink. Part of its track is the original route of the Surrey Iron Railway that opened in 1803. In 1995 four consortia were shortlisted to build, operate and maintain Tramlink, in 1996 Tramtrack Croydon won a 99-year private finance initiative contract to design, build, operate and maintain Tramlink. The equity partners in TC were AMI, Royal Bank of Scotland, 3i and Sir Robert McAlpine with Bombardier Transportation contracted to build and maintain the trams and first group operate the service. TC retained the revenue generated by Tramlink and LRT had to pay compensation to TC for any changes to the fares and ticketing policy introduced later. Construction work started in January 1997, with an expected opening in November 1999. The first tram was delivered in October 1998 to the new depot at Therapia Lane and testing on the sections of the Wimbledon line began shortly afterwards. The official opening of Tramlink took place on May 10, 2000 when Route 3 from Croydon to New Addington opened to the public. Route 2 from Croydon to Beckenham Junction followed on May 23, 2000, and Route 1 from Elmer's End to Wimbledon opened a week later on May 30, 2000. In March 2008, TfL announced that it had reached agreement to buy TC for £98 million. The purchase was finalised on June 28, 2008. The background to this purchase relates to the requirement that TfL compensates TC for the consequences of any changes to the fares and ticketing policy introduced since 1996. In 2007 that payment was £4 million, with an annual increase in rate. First Group continues to operate the service. In October 2008 TfL introduced a new livery, using the blue, white and green of the routes on TfL maps, to distinguish the trams from buses operating in the area. The color of the cars was changed to green, and the brand name was changed from Croydon Tramlink to simply Tramlink. 
These refurbishments were completed in early 2009. Sontral Tram Stop, in Tamworth Road on the one-way central loop, opened on December 10, 2005, increasing journey time slightly. As turnaround times were already quite tight, this raised the issue of buying an extra tram to maintain punctuality. Partly for this reason but also to take into account the planned restructuring of services, TFL issued tenders for a new tram. However, nothing resulted from this. In January 2011, Tramtrack Croydon opened a tender for the supply of 10 new or second-hand trams from the end of summer 2011, for use between Therapia Lane and Elmer's End. On August 18, 2011, TFL announced that Stadler Rail had won a $19.75 million contract to supply six Varjobahn trams similar to those used by Bybenen in Bergen, Norway. They entered service in 2012. In August 2013, TFL ordered an additional four Vario bonds for delivery in 2015, for use on the Wimbledon to Croydon link, an order later increased to six. This brought the total Vario bond fleet up to 10 in 2015, and 12 in 2016 when the final two trams were delivered. Tram 2530 leaving Croydon on an Elmer's End service in 2007 there are 39 stops, with 38 opened in the initial phase, and Sontral tram stop added on December 10, 2005. Most stops are 32. 2 meters long. They are virtually level with the doors and are all wider than 2 meters. This allows wheelchairs, prams, pushchairs and the elderly to board the tram easily with no steps. In street sections, the stop is integrated with the pavement. The tram stops have low platforms, 35 centimeters above rail level. They are unstaffed and had automated ticket machines that are no longer in use due to TFL making trams cashless. In general, access between the platforms involves crossing the tracks by pedestrian level crossing. Tramlink uses some former mainline stations on the Wimbledon West Croydon and Elmers and Coombe Lane stretches of line. The railway platforms have been demolished and rebuilt to Tramlink specifications, except at Elmers End and Wimbledon where the track level was raised to meet the higher mainline platforms to enable cross-platform interchange. All stops have disabled access, raised paving, CCTV, a passenger help point, a passenger information display, litter bins, a ticket machine, a notice board and lampposts, and most also have seats and a shelter. The PIDs displayed the destinations and expected arrival times of the next two trams. They can also display any message the controllers want to display, such as information on delays or even safety instructions for vandals to stop putting rubbish or other objects onto the track. Tram 2545 in original livery at Beckenham Junction in 2001. Tram 2536 in the second livery at Morden Road, heading towards Wimbledon in 2006. A tram leaving Croydon towards Wimbledon, going past Reeves Corner in 2009. Tram 2558 at East Croydon in 2013. Tramlink has been shown on the principal tube map since June 1, 2016, having previously appeared only on the London Connections map. When Tramlink first opened it had three routes, Line 1 from Wimbledon to Elmer's End, Line 2 from Croydon to Beckenham Junction, and Line 3 from Croydon to New Addington. On July 23, 2006 the network was restructured, with Route 1 from Elmer's End to Croydon, Route 2 from Beckenham Junction to Croydon and Route 3 from New Addington to Wimbledon. On June 25, 2012 Route 4 from Therapia Lane to Elmer's End was introduced. On Monday, April 4, 2016, Route 4 was extended from Therapia Lane to Wimbledon. On February 25, 2018, the network and timetables were restructured again for more even and reliable services. As part of this change, trams would no longer display route numbers on their dot matrix destination screens. This resulted in three routes, additionally, the first two trams from New Addington will run to Wimbledon. Overall, this would result in a decrease in 2 TPH leaving Elmer's End, resulting in a 25% decrease in capacity here, and 14% in the Addiscombe area. However, this would also regulate waiting times in this area and on the Wimbledon branch to every 5 minutes, from every 2 to 7 minutes. Interlace track near Mitcham Tramlink makes use of a number of national rail lines, running parallel to franchised services, or in some cases, runs on previously abandoned railway corridors. Between Birkbeck and Beckenham Junction, Tramlink uses the Crystal Palace line, running on a single track alongside the track carrying Southern Rail services. The National Rail track had been singled some years earlier. From Elmer's End to Woodside, Tramlink follows the former Addiscombe line. At Woodside, the old station buildings stand disused, and the original platforms have been replaced by accessible low platforms. 
Tramlink then follows the former Woodside and South Croydon Railway to reach the current Addiscombe tram stop, adjacent to the site of the demolished Bingham Road railway station. It continues along the former railway route to near Sandilands, where Tramlink curves sharply toward Sandilands tram stop. Another route from Sandilands tram stop curves sharply onto the W and SCR before passing through Park Hill tunnels and to the site of Coombe Road Station after which it curves away across Lloyd Park. Between Wimbledon Station and Wandel Park, Tramlink follows the former West Croydon to Wimbledon Line, which was first opened in 1855 and closed on May 31, 1997 to allow for conversion into Tramlink. Within this section, from near Phipps Bridge to near Reeves Corner, Tramlink follows the Surrey Iron Railway, giving Tramlink a claim to one of the world's oldest railway alignments. Beyond Wandel Park, a Victorian footbridge beside Wattenew Road was dismantled to make way for the flyover over the West Croydon to Sutton Railway line. The footbridge has been re-erected at Corf Castle Station on the Swanage Railway. Bus routes T31, T32 and T33 used to connect with Tramlink at the new Addington, Fieldway and Addington Village stops. T31 and T32 no longer run, and T33 has been renumbered as 433. Tramlink currently uses 35 trams. In summary, Bombardier CR4000 Avario Bon and a CR4000 at Sandilands tram stop in July 2019 The original fleet comprised 24 articulated low-floor Bombardier Flexity Swift CR4000 trams built in Vienna numbered beginning at 2530. Continuing from the highest numbered tram 2529 on London's former tram network, which closed in 1952. The original livery was red and white. One was painted in first group white, blue and pink livery. In 2006, the CR4000 fleet was refreshed, with the bus-style destination roller blinds being replaced with a digital dot matrix display. In 2008-09 the fleet was repainted externally in the new green livery and the interiors were refurbished with new flooring, seat covers retrimmed in a new moquette and stanchions repainted from yellow to green. One has not returned to service after the fatal accident on November 9, 2016. In 2007 Tram 2535 was named after Stephen Paris Gandolo, a well-known tram enthusiast. Croydon Varioban in January 2011, Trantrack Croydon invited tenders for the supply of then new or second-hand trams, and on August 18, 2011, TfL announced that Stadler Rail had won a $19.75 million contract to supply six Varioban trams similar to those used by Bybenen in Bergen, Norway. They entered service in 2012. In August 2013, TfL ordered an additional four Varioban trams for delivery in 2015, an order which was later increased to six. This brought the total Varioban fleet up to 10 in 2015, and 12 in 2016 when the final two trams were delivered. Engineers' vehicles used in Tramlink construction were hired for that purpose. In November 2006 Tramlink purchased five second-hand engineering vehicles from Deutsche Bahn. These were two DB Class KLV 53 engineers' trams, and three four-wheel wagons. Service tram 058 and trailer 061 were both sold to the National Tramway Museum in 2010. A Tramlink ticket machine TFL bus and tram passes are valid on Tramlink, as are travel cards that include any of zones 3, 4, 5 and 6. Pay-as-you-go Oyster card fares are the same as on London buses, although special fares may apply when using Tramlink feeder buses. When using Oyster cards, Passengers must touch in on the platform before boarding the tram. Special arrangements apply at Wimbledon Station, where the Tramlink stop is within the National Rail and London Underground Station. Tramlink passengers must therefore touch in at the station entry barriers then again at the Tramlink platform to inform the system that no mainline slash law rail journey has been made. EMV contactless payment cards can also be used to pay for fares in the same manner as Oyster cards. Ticket machines were withdrawn on July 16, 2018. The onboard announcements are by BBC News reader Nicholas Owen. The announcement pattern is as follows. G. This tram is for Wimbledon, the next stop will be Merton Park. The service was created as a result of the Croydon Tramlink Act 1994 that received royal assent on July 21, 1994, a private bill jointly. Promoted by London Regional Transport and Croydon London Borough Council. Following a competitive tender, a consortium company Trantrack Croydon Limited was awarded a 99-year concession to build and run the system. Since June 28, 2008, the company has been a subsidiary of TfL. Tramlink is currently operated by Tram Operations Limited, a subsidiary of First Group, 
who have a contract to operate the service until 2030. Toll provides the drivers and management to operate the service, the infrastructure and trams are owned and maintained by a TFL subsidiary. A Tramlink tram on George Street, Croydon in 2013 The key available trends in recent years for Tramlink are, activities in the financial year 2020-21 were severely reduced by the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. Detailed passenger journeys since Tramlink commenced operations in May 2000 were, as of 2020, the only extension actively being pursued by the Mayor of London and TfL is a new line to Sutton from Wimbledon or Collier's Wood, known as the Sutton Link. In July 2013, then Mayor Boris Johnson had affirmed that there was a reasonable business case for Tramlink to cover the Wimbledon, Sutton Quarter, which might also include a loop via St. Helier Hospital and an extension to the Royal Marsden Hospital. In 2014, a proposed £320 million scheme for a new line to connect Wimbledon to Sutton via Morden was made and brought to consultation jointly by the London boroughs of Merton and Sutton. Although £100 million from TfL was initially secured in the draft 2016-17 budget, this was subsequently reallocated. In 2018, TfL opened a consultation on proposals for a connection to Sutton, with three route options, from South Wimbledon, from Collier's Wood or from Wimbledon. In February 2020, Following the consultation, TfL announced their preference for a north-south tramway between Collier's Wood and Sutton Town Centre, with a projected cost of £425 million, on the condition of securing additional funding. Work on the project stopped in July 2020, as Transport for London could not find sufficient funding for it to continue. Numerous extensions to the network have been discussed or proposed over the years, involving varying degrees of support and investigative effort. In 2002, as part of the Mayor's Transport Strategy for London, a number of proposed extensions were identified, including to Sutton from Wimbledon or Mitcham, to Crystal Palace, to Collierswood slash Tooting, and along the A23. The strategy said that extensions to the network could, in principle, be developed at relatively modest cost where there is potential demand, and sought initial views on the viability of a number of extensions by summer 2002. In 2006, in a TfL consultation on an extension to Crystal Palace, three options were presented, on-street, off-street and a mixture of the two. After the consultation, the off-street option was favored, to include Crystal Palace Station and Crystal Palace Parade. TfL stated in 2008 that due to lack of funding the plans for this extension would not be taken forward. They were revived shortly after Boris Johnson's re-election as mayor in May 2012, but six months later they were cancelled again. In November 2014, a 15-year plan, Trams 2030, called for upgrades to increase capacity on the network in line with an expected increase in ridership. To 60 million passengers by 2031 have not been exceeded since. The upgrades were to improve reliability, support regeneration in the Croydon Metropolitan Centre, and future-proof the network for Crossrail 2. A potential Bakerloo line extension, and extensions to the tram network itself to a wide variety of destinations. The plans involve dual tracking across the network and introducing diverting loops on either side of Croydon, allowing for a higher frequency of trams on all four branches without increasing congestion in central Croydon. The £737 million investment was to be funded by the Croydon Growth Zone, TfL Business Plan, Housing Levies, and the respective boroughs, and by the affected developers. All the various developments, if implemented, could theoretically require an increase in the fleet from 30 to up to 80 trams. As such, an increase in depot and stabling capacity would also be required. Enlargement of the current Therapy Lane site, as well as sites near the Elmer's End and Harrington Road tram stops, were shortlisted. Sandilands, November 2016. Template attached KML slash tramlink KML is from Wikidata. Thanks for watching.